All right, so um, because I'm a giant geek, uh, we're going to talk about end mills. So these are some various end mills that we use to make dice. These are all quarter inch. Our main size is quarter inch. Um, and they're all really cool for various reasons. Check it out. Okay. So we use pretty much entirely uh, quarter inch end mills, uh, with the exception of our pips, which are drilled with a 3 16 end mill. But it's just like this end mill. So your standard uh, quarter inch mill would look something like this. All right, it's flat on the end and flat down the sides. And this is a four flute because everything we use is four flute. Um, this is a carbide end mill and it's uh, T A L I N coated. I'm sure there's a really cool, you know, machinist way of saying that, but I don't know it. So anyway, um, that is a standard end mill. We can't use these for our dice because um, they're not all flat. They may look like it, but um, they're not. So we actually use a ball end mill. Uh, Jamie, grab me a metal dice over there. We'll, we'll show what I'm talking about. All right, so while Jamie grabs that real quick, <clears throat> um, the difference you see you can see is basically, I mean, the body, or the, I guess the, the cutting flutes are the same, but the tip, instead of being just chopped off flat, is radius. okay? And the radius on this is uh, point one two five inches. All right, so this is a D20. All right, and if we were to try to machine this in, using three dimensions like we do, let's say the top of the machine is this way, all right, and we come up, over, and down, you can see where the just the, it, there's no part of the bit that's actually in contact with the dice. Okay, because we can't actually move our head of the, of the machine like this to machine the flats, what we use is a ball end mill, right? And that lets us use that radius on that ball to stay in contact with the face of our dice as we machine. So this spins, and we move it back and forth along the dice to cut, like that, all right? So, now, with our metal dice, one of the problems we've been running into is um, resonance. Resonance is basically what makes a um, a piano string ring or a guitar play uh, when you pluck something it has a resonance in which it vibrates and makes most for the most part music uh, however when you do it with a CNC machine it makes an ungodly screeching noise uh, which you may have seen in some of our earlier videos okay so this is a four flute in mill um, and every time this that these flutes strike the die when we cut one of these it causes it to vibrate a little bit the bit vibrates and the part vibrates, all right? And if you hit just the right frequency of impacts with these flutes, it causes it to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. That's called resonance, all right? So two ways you can combat that is you can speed up or slow down your uh, RPM and thus adjust your, your feed rates. Well, we've tried slowing down the RPM and that just leads us to breaking bits. Um, speeding up the RPM, we're already running at max RPM, so that doesn't help us any. We can't go any faster. So um, the other option you have is to change the number of flutes you use. Okay, so we called the guys at Lakeshore Carbide, and they sent us these bad boys right here. Okay, these are freaking awesome. As far as I know, we are the only shop in the world to have these. Uh, this is a four flute, right? If you count the number of cutting flutes on the end, I hope I got this in the right spot on the camera. Down somewhere like that. Tim. There. All right. So anyway. Um, it's not. There it goes. It's now it's focused. Okay. So if you can count, like, this four flutes over here, you have six over here. So there's six cutting flutes on this end mill. We had these custom cut for the for us, and uh, because they're custom cut, they are insanely expensive. Uh, this is, uh, like, a $15 end mill. This is a $75 end mill. Uh, but because we have six flutes, um, we're able to get past most of our resonance issues with this. Um, it also allows us, because we have more flutes, we can cut faster. We can actually move faster through our harder materials. Uh, because, I mean, without going into too much detail, uh, each material has a different SFM or surface feet per minute that you can machine at, and that's basically how hard the material is. So the lower that SFM score, uh, the slower you must machine, because SFM is rated per, on a per tooth basis. So let's say if we have an SFM of, just make the math easy, one, um, then we could machine at you know with four teeth we could actually machine at four feet per minute surface feet per minute 
Um, now with six, I get an up that to six surface feet per minute. So you can say get a 50% speed increase just by adding two flutes to the bit. Now there's some, there's some downsides to this. You got smaller uh, gullets in here to get to clean out the uh, chips, but our chip size is stupid tiny, so it doesn't really hurt us. Now another way you can get rid of resonance is by going to a variable flute end mill. Um, mad props to John Grismo over at Grismo Knives who pointed these out to me. Um, if you look, this is this is made by Lakeshore Carbide. This is made by somebody else. Let me see if I can't grab it. Let's see who makes these real quick. Uh, they're made by Wida, Wida, W I D I A. I picked these up from a local tool supplier called Technotool. They're in Raleigh, Texas. Uh, they're right down the street. Awesome folks. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, this is from Wida. This is a variable flute end mill. So what that does is. It still has four flutes, which gives us our big, our bigger gullets, which is great for things like um, aluminum. Uh, we can't use this bit in aluminum because it will get clogged up and snap in a heartbeat because the, the gullets are too small. Uh, aluminum is really gummy and likes to stick to things. You know, it's kind of strange to think of a metal wanting to stick to stuff. So we can't use that in like aluminum or copper or uh, brass because it just gums up. Um, so we have to stick with four flutes. So to combat that, we've gone to this variable flute thanks to, like I said, John Grismo over at Grismo Knives. Has an awesome YouTube channel. I'll try to put a link in here. Probably not going to happen, but Grim Grimsmo Knives. Check him out. Um, this has four flutes, but if you look real close, you can see that each one has a different helix, a different radius of which it wraps around the bit. All right, what that does is it changes the timing of the impacts. So instead of going, instead of going bat 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 and getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and bigger and bigger and bigger vibrations, okay, this one staggers the impacts so that they stay the same so your resonance never builds all right so i haven't had a chance to run these yet uh, we're going to run them this afternoon so we'll be looking for a video on these really quick um, from what i've seen and read and heard on the internet that when you change to a variable fluid end mill it basically kills all the resonance at one go these are like you know i guess the bees knees to use an outdated phrase so uh, we're going to try this out this runs 28 dollars uh, a piece so they're not quite as expensive as our Super awesome six flute, uh, polished, ticking coated, awesome uh, end mills here. Uh, these are, I know you guys can see that, but you see the gullets and everything on these are polished. It's a little more shiny. This adds a lot to tool life, according to the guys at Lakeshore. Uh, which, if you need custom end mills done, call Lakeshore Carbide. They are awesome folks. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's the end mills we use. Uh, pretty much, we pretty much use all end mills for everything. Uh, so this would be our standard four flute that we use. This is just like a beater end mill that we use. And then when we get to our harder uh, harder materials, you know, like our nickels and stuff, we switch to this. And our, we use even the stainless steel. Uh, then we've also got uh, our variable flute for doing our gummy metals. So, yeah, awesome stuff. See you guys next time.